uh, hold, hold on one second here. Uh, just, just back up a little bit to the point of in reference to your health. You, you just told me that you're feeling better, but it's making you more miserable. I, the I'm only reason getting... that Emma and I moved into the farmhouse was so that Natalia could help me. If I'm not sick anymore, there's no reason for us to stay. So why don't you stay because you like it and Emma likes it? Emma likes it. You know, every day she walks around the farm and she talks to the horses and the cows and... and what about you? I'm not a big fan of the cows. <laughs> What I'm asking you is, do you like living there? No. Yes. Uh, yes, I like living on a farm. Can you believe it? Yeah, it is a little strange, but you know what? I haven't seen you happier, and I think, you know, Natalia is good for you, so why don't you just take it maybe a little easy on her? And... Hey, back off. I'm behaving. Is it the fresh air? It's is not that so much the farm, Frank. If I had my way, we'd eat the cows. It's it's everything. It's It's... <laughs> M and, and Natalia and the way we interact, it's like we finally have a place where we belong. Hmm, well, it sounds to me like you have a home. No, it's, it's Natalia's home. It's temporary for Emma and me. And when we move out, you need to look after Natalia. I could do that. Absolutely. But you know what, Olivia? I'm never going to be rich, and I'm not flashy, and... And you know what, if you ask but, the... But the thing I can do for her, though, is I can protect her. I can keep her safe, and I can be there for her. And that's exactly what she would tell you she wants. Great. No, it's not great, because if that's all she needed, then you two would be married by now. So what does she need? She needs to be challenged, Frank, because she's smart. And she's capable. But somewhere along the line, she got it in her head that all she could be in her life was, was a mother. Not that there's anything wrong with that, or a waitress. <sighs> When she first started working for me, all she would do was pick up my dry cleaning and feed me my meds. I mean, if I asked her to do one little thing that was challenging for her, she'd tell me no, that she couldn't do it. So what'd you do? I told her it was her job. She'd better figure out a way to do it. And that didn't scare her off? It scared the heck out of her. But because I believed in her, I mean, I think she started to realize that she's capable. I mean, she ran staff meetings while I was sick. And? She was, she was great. She was so great. And I don't think I have ever seen her happier. That's what you need to do, Frank. You need to see Natalia not just for who she is, but who she can be. And that's what makes Natalia unique. Thank you, Emma. Now, before I open it up for questions, I just want to say regarding Emma's family, just because it was a little different, I just want everyone to be very polite. So, are there any questions or comments for Emma? Derek. Your family looks fun. It is. I love my family. Any other questions? Talk. Yeah, I think we do too. I owe you an apology. Why? Why? Why you? Because uh, I've been selfish in keeping you away from your real life, all because I'm missing my son. Oh, you don't have to apologize for missing Rafe. No, yes, I do. I just because having Emma here has been. It's so wonderful. You don't have to me. say that. Listen to me. I'm the one who needs to apologize to you. I mean, this is your house, and, and, and this is the start of your new life, and I barge in here with my daughter and my health issues, and we both know that you could have helped me out at the beacon. So, you know, I'm feeling better, and there's really no reason to stay here, so you should really have your own back. I don't... 
Why are you crying? Because I really like it here. And Emma likes it here. Then stay. I thought you wanted us to move out. No, I thought you, you, I thought you wanted to move no. out. No. Well, so, can we stay? Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I don't believe us. That's no. just embarrassing. It's just, it's kind, it's just kind of funny, you know. If somebody had told me that we would be living together a year ago and in like, I would deck them. I know you would have. Uh, here we are, though. So, you know, just enjoying it. And I want you to know it's not it's not just all about Emma or your rent money. Yeah, no, and it's not because I need your help. No, I know. Because you're stacking the dishes next well, time. Well, I should. I could do it better. Yeah, you do, though. <laughs> actually. Hey! Hi! Don't you look happy? Yeah. It went great. Oh, great. Yes. Everybody clapped for they me. Of course they Good did. For you. So, so are we going to get to hear it? Oh, we've been invited to family day where all the kids are going to read their stories out loud. Are you telling me that we're not allowed to hear your story until then? Nope. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, we'll wait until everybody else does. All right. How about some hot chocolate? Yay! Yay! Give me a hug. I'm so proud of you. Come on. <laughs> 